way. Y'all think I don't book, double book myself um, for today. Um, I have to go to the doctor for my Invisalign and I have a waxing appointment. My Invisalign, I think it's like at 11 and my wax appointment is like at 12 and one is on one exit and one is on the other. And I don't think that I'm going to make it uh, on time. So the best thing that I could do is schedule, reschedule my waxing appointment till later on this afternoon because my girl Antonia is uh, there. And, um, yeah, so, but I got to go and take care of this, y'all. I have to get my teeth right. And then, so, um, and I got to wear my Invisalign like how I'm supposed to. I have popped these mugs out again for the other day. Now, today, I got them back in. They are a little sore. And I know that the orthodontics is going to be all up in, uh, my mouth. And plus, I had a um, a metal bracket that's back here that's on one of my teeth, and it's supposed to attach to the um, the teeth up here, one tooth up here, and it's kind of like bent. I can get it, get the rubber band on there, but I'm gonna let them redo it though today when I go. I'm going to let them redo it because, honey, I got to have good teeth. So, when I cuss your ass out, you can see everything that I am saying to you. And I can um, pronounce or announce all of my syllables to your ass. And you can understand me. Okay? Because I want my teeth to be all, you see it all when I say that to you. Or say whatever I'm going to say to you. Came to get waxed. Clean as a baby's bottom. Yep, love it, love it. Ladies, stop the shaving and go and get waxed. Get all clean. Feel fresh every day. And you only have to do this like every two months. That shaving and stuff every week is for the birds. You want to be smooth. So I came to Kroger. I'm actually been thinking about David this morning. So um, you guys see where I am, right? Roses. And so I want some roses to go on my table. And I have a, a vase that he had got me. And I just love the vase and how it's made. So I like to put uh, roses in it. And so I'm going to get two bouquets of roses. I'm going to show you guys what I got. And these are like when they have the little signature roses or whatever. So I like both of these right here. I think this one is 15 and this one is like 10. Um, not sure um, what this one is. I don't know how much these are right here. I'm not sure. This might be, maybe I need to get two of these. They're so small though. The heads of them are so small. And then these right here are a little bit wider. These right here on camera, they look really nice, but um, it's kind of rough like in person just a little bit these are right here are like decent and then they have like the different bouquets and the prices 2015 and 10 so um i don't know i think i just want some roses on my table so i'm probably gonna get i can feel this with the sides but i just don't like how rough that is though still I, and then these small ones right here, they will bloom open. And I don't know. They usually have some more like the on clearance, which is, I don't know if that's just the carnations or whatever, but uh, I don't know. I just want some roses to go on my table and I don't want to play a pretty book like over there. I just want to put it together myself. So let me see what this lady is about to say when I ask her. They don't have any white. I wish they had, oh, yes they do. They do have some, but David always got me red. That's like a white and a yellow light. Oh, these are gorgeous. Oh, <clears throat> uh, here they are, y'all. These are gorge. I'm gonna mix them with those. See, I like these. I don't know how much these are though, but I like these. They're like a hot pink in a rose or whatever. Y'all see that? It's like a pink like. Look at my cart. I need to get out of here with all this right here. That's like a pink, but they are gorgeous. I think I'm going to mix those two. And I'm going to take these rough ones right here out. 
I think I'm just gonna go with those two and mix those together. It, but if they would have had two of these right here, I probably would have went with those, two of those. Oh, no, you can't spend the night. You too old for that. Go home. I give it to you real and I give it to you raw. I give you what you want and I'll keep you coming back. y'all happy mlk day if you guys can see my background is all messy but it's all good um i have to clean up and i will do that but i'm um, getting ready to put on this wig you guys have um maybe before this video i don't know after this video but i have been doing a lot of stuff with hair i also have um to um wash up some more hair and flexi ride it though too but this right here uh loose and curly wig you guys have seen it before but um i did not wash it last night but if you guys can see this right here this is design essential and you don't have to put a lot of product on your hair but i just want to give this a little bit of uh shine you guys see how it's kind of dull a little bit so i'm going to give it a little bit of shine spritz it a little bit it's just a wig and this right here is not heavy so it's just light i just want to Give it a little bit of a better uh, shine while it's out on my head today. And I'm not going anywhere today. I am just going to be here around the house. I'm going to put together a uh, bouquet of roses. You guys know how I love roses. How David and I always have done roses or whatever. So just putting a little bit of hair on my head. And you guys see me. I have, I'm sitting here at my vanity. And I'm looking in two separate mirrors. Just to put a little bit of hair on my head so I look a little decent today a little bit decent take this comb tuck this comb in to get it in there got those edges and everything down boot and actually got to get this comb over here on this side tuck it in as well so this mug is not going anywhere and it looks like this baby is going to be coming out my scalp you But I don't, my scalp don't go down like that. Let me, so what I'm going to do is pull my wig cap back a little bit and then I'm going to tuck it a little bit farther back in my hairline. Just a little bit farther back. So I'll be able to move it back some. So you guys can see right there, that's what it is. See how that's sitting there, boop. Sitting there, all right. I just want it to be where have a little bit of hair on my head while I'm talking with y'all today and I put on some lipstick yeah let me line the lips a little bit really don't need to but put a little bit in there I ain't wiping nothing on my lips and this is just to sit around the house today just around the house while I do a couple little things I got to be working today for YouTube yes I got to be working for y'all so make sure y'all subscribe so I can keep giving you what you want and keep you coming back y'all know the drill y'all know the whole I give it to you real and I give it to you raw I give you what you want and I'll keep you coming back thing you know so it's all about y'all today Put a little bit of something on my lips. And we're about to go in here so I can put together this uh, bouquet. You know what I'm saying? So now I got a little bit of hair on my head. Let's go and put this bouquet together. All right. Show you guys a little bit of what I'm doing today. I'm actually getting um, some hair ready. And this right here is a new, um, this is a 16 inch closure. And these are two uh, 20 inches and two 18 inch closures. So I've actually washed, I never said bundles, sorry, two 20 inches. These yellow ones are 20 inches. 
and then these right here are two 18s and then this is a 16 inch closure so just uh watch this so this is my pre slay i'm actually getting them together this right here is going to actually soak in overnight because i actually want my smell all deep within so here are the flowers that I made. Um, I did make a video with showing how I trimmed everything down and put it together, but the footage is kind of distorted and I cannot get it to upload right. So I just had to like re-record and show you guys what I have. They're right here. And then this is one thing that I um, actually added onto my table a while back ago. These are some of my house rules. I hope you guys can see this. I had to put this in my house because you know how some people don't have um, house etiquette. So sometimes you have to tell them. So this is when you first walk into my house right here. What I have. I want you guys to see that. And I really mean that. And I found a nice frame. Um, I think I got this frame from Home Goods. Um, or either, yeah, Home Goods. I got this from Home Goods. And then this little plate right here that I got, this little mirrored plate, I got that right there from Hobby Lobby. But these are my house rules. It says, do not open any door except the one you're closing behind you when you're leaving. Do not open my refrigerator. Do not put your feet on my couch. Do not touch the remote or light switch. No sleeping on my furniture. No lounging on my furniture. Do not sit on my pillows. Y'all know pillows are for decoration. Some people don't know that. You don't just plop your butt on somebody's pillows. You move the pillow to the side. A pillow is not for your ass at all. You know what I'm saying? So, um, but some people don't know that. And it says, do not enter any bedroom. Don't start walking around in people's house. Go in the living room and sit your butt down. Don't touch nothing. This ain't your house. I don't care if you're family or not. When you walk in, sit down. Go to the living room, sit down, get your kids, and no, you should have ate before you got here. And if not offered, don't ask. If I don't offer you nothing, don't ask for my food. Come in and sit down. Eat at the table, not in the living room. Don't bring your snacks and then just be eating and dropping crumbs and stuff. I don't do bugs and roaches. Not at all. Unless you guys are willing to pay for my pest control that I pay for every single month. Don't come here eating and dropping your crumbs. This is not your house. Remember, you are a visitor. So that means that you will be leaving. And this goes for any and everybody that walks into my house. And I mean that with everything in my being and from the bottom of my soul. Sit down and then just be patient do what you got to do and then go home no you can't spend the night you too old for that go home okay now back on to my flowers this is the one that I made this is two dozen these came from Kroger and then so this right here is just you know you could put this in the um, drawers or whatever so I just cut a little bit so this right here have some grip so that this right here does not scratch or anything and make sure you guys go and look at the video on how I made um, the candles and everything so yeah for these lotus candle holders so that's two dozen and I'm going to show you guys my other one I also made this right here arrangements from the pink ones and then this right here it did have uh, like a little chain with a purple heart on it David had got me some roses for um, Valentine's Day and I don't know what happened to that chain so what I did was I actually hot glued this right here piece this right here is like a diamond ribbon so I just hot cut it and hot glued a piece around the neck of that and then I just made this arrangement right here and added some baby breath um, onto it so that's this one in the living room then also today um well these right here i got one yesterday then this morning i wasn't feeling well and i stayed at home and then dj and marche they actually bought me 12 more roses and so i have these right here in the kitchen so I'm get my little cup out the way they brought me some fruit and then they bought me another dozen of roses so I have I love love roses roses is the signature of David and myself 
and I have always said, you know, if one wants to get me flowers, just give me rose, get me roses. And that's exactly what I mean. Kroger always has like um, flowers on clearance and they have them um, for different prices, different mixtures and all that stuff. And a bouquet of roses costs about 10 bucks. Some are like 15, just depends on if you got the baby breaths in it. DJ didn't get baby's breaths with this one. And so, but yeah, and it does not come um, with the vase. So therefore I have my own um, basis, vase, whatever you want to call it. Um, I have my own and I just added this in here this morning. I love the roses. So I actually have um, four dozens of roses right now. And I'm very, very happy about it. Good morning. As you guys can see, I'm all bundled up because woke up this morning, we're snowed in. They're both of my cars um, right there, but we are snowed in here in Atlanta. It is actually beautiful here. It's cold, but I live close enough to the main property that I can actually walk to work. So my third shift, I am bundled up. I have on three jackets and everything. I'm bundled up and I am going to go and relieve my third shift so that they can get some rest and everything. But yeah, I'm getting ready to, uh, I'm not gonna drive. I gotta get some keys out of my car. And, uh, oh my God, this snow is going to fall in my damn car. Dang. But, it is just snow everywhere. Well, I guess I don't see them right there that quick. And I am not about to dig through them. And right there, how that, um hill is to get out of my complex it is too steep and i'm not about to slide down it at all so the engineers have already came and opened up our gates for people so that they don't slide into the gates and everything but i am actually getting ready to walk my butt to work and this is the way <laughs> out of my apartment complex and that hill right there it is no way that I'm gonna be trying to slide up and down that hill. So, as soon as I get on to work, I'll come back on here. Y'all look at this, unicorns are real. Y'all see this? Ayana loves unicorns and sparkles and everything. And look at this. She got on this unicorn hat. This unicorn is in this bed. They are knocked out. Unicorns are real, y'all. Two unicorns in the bed. Look at that. Unicorns are real. Just got my car done while I was getting in a good workout. It looks pretty good. So that's what I like. Rolling around in a clean ride. I need to bring my other car. But it looks good. So yeah. Clean ride. I like riding clean. Just me, so I had to wash my hair because my hair was sour and then I put some pink lotion in and blow dried it in there, but um, I need to go to Marche right now so that Marche can um, braid my hair up and stuff. So, um, but yeah, my hair was sour from all of the workouts and stuff that I've actually been doing. And, um, but it's, my hair needs to be trimmed that's what my hair just really needs to be trimmed um i am gonna get it trimmed um i have an appointment to get my hair done but i need to trim my hair um i have worked out today and i'm just now getting myself together i have not even eaten um trying to be accountable for these during invisalign my mouth is getting irritated right now i need to eat so i'm going to show you guys what i'm actually eating um this is um the little chicken Santa Fe, a uh, little smart one from um, Weight Watchers. Um, and I think this is like 260 calories. Um, I'm almost sure that that's what it is. Let me see. Grab one. Turn it. Ooh. Oh, shit, don't fall, damn it. So, okay, anyway, this is what it is right here. It's a smart one and it is 260 calories six grams of fat six grams of fiber 11 grams of uh protein 
So this is what I'm having and I'm actually making uh, myself actually eat uh, this. So this is what I'm having right now. Ayana is still napping and so I've actually taken uh, my bath and it's kind of warm outside. It's okay. So after Ayana wakes up, it's probably going to be right now. It is 8.08 if you guys can see. It's 8.09. And it's pretty much I'm probably going to be going out a little bit late, but I really need to get my hair braided up because I don't want to go and um, work out early in the morning and then come back trying to wait for Marche, get off of work or wake up or whatever. Right now I know that she's off. I can go get my hair braided up and then tomorrow I can be up and at it for a uh, for workout. You guys know I went to go and get my hair uh, braided uh, by Marche. You guys can see this girl braids tight as hell. I've already told you guys. I hope I'm not shaking y'all up. But it's like she's pulling your brains out. But um, she's really, really good. She actually needs to be working in a shop, in a braiding shop. Um, I hope you guys can see that good. So I get it braided around in a beehive. This right here, she does not tuck in. So, but when I put on my wig cap or whatever, it holds it down or whatever. So anyway, I just wanted to show you guys. I did go get my hair uh, braided down and I'm about to go get this uh, workout on. Okay, good morning guys. You guys see me where I have actually put sweet sweat on all my body. I'm actually um, ready for the gym. And it is actually Sunday morning. It is January the 21st. And um, I'm getting ready to take out the trash and everything. And as I do that on Sundays is when I'm getting ready to try to get my meal preps and all that stuff together. And so when I looked in the refrigerator to see what I may need, I saw that Ariel, which is our oldest daughter, she left her um, cabbage. And knowing Ariel, she's not coming back to get it. So what I'm going to do is, I don't have to buy a vegetable now. I am going to finish this little head of cabbage that she cut off. And um, I'm actually going to cut it right quick uh, before I leave. I'm going to cut it. And... Show you guys. So I'm going to cut this. And I'm going to use it for my vegetable today. Um, I like cabbage and a lot of hot sauce and everything. And the way that this cabbage is, if you guys can see, she actually did not um, do it right and everything. And I should have just did it, but I'll wash it. Oh, I just dropped some. Because you don't want to get the middle stalk. So I'm going to actually steam this and have this as a vegetable. And I'm going to eat some of it actually uh, tonight. It's my hat. Have some of this tonight. And for the rest of the week, I really do like cabbage. And I like it steamed, but I don't like it like really, really hard. So if you guys see that, now I have some cabbage that I'm going to steam for tonight. And I don't know what type of protein that I might eat with it because I really haven't gotten my food prep um, all together and um, everything. So I got to get to the gym right now. The time is uh, 1041. I don't, wait a minute. Don't know if you guys can see that. Ooh. Anyway, it's 1041 right now. And I need to get to the gym. I was trying to get to the gym early. I'm still running behind and everything. I've actually taken um, my apple cider vinegar and uh, my apple juice. I've said to you guys before that apple juice and apple cider vinegar. Hold on. Apple cider vinegar knocks that... Um, 
that strong and burning um, sensation knocks it completely out uh, if you guys uh, mix it. So what I do is I take my apple cider vinegar and I put it um, in here about this much and I fill the rest of the cup by to about to here um, with apple juice and I take the swig down. Baby, just goes down like a charm. But anyway, it's time for me to get out of here. Hope you guys are following me. Don't forget to stop and hit that subscribe button and I want you guys to watch me take the weight off. You guys are now asking me for a number. What is the number that I actually saw? What did I actually see on the scale? The highest that I actually went back up to I went back up to 181 I think it was point four or six I will actually put a um a number in here um for you. it was 181 I want to wa want you guys to watch me um take the weight off where did I come from uh, the last weigh-in that I weighed in uh, with David was 148.2 pounds and I went all the way up to 181 pounds so you guys are actually going to see me take this off I am not trying to do anything fad uh well I can't say fad because you know a diet is a diet however you call it whatever way that you want to work it um I I'm just going to let you guys watch me take the weight back off Oh, I'm getting ready to get that. I forgot. I need to give a shout out to one of uh, my followers. I saw in um, I saw in Walmart in um, Stone Mountain. I think I was in Stone Mountain Walmart. I think. Um, I'm almost sure. I was in Stone Mountain Walmart and I saw um, one of my followers. She did tell me what her name was. I forgot. I do apologize. I want to give a shout out to you and if um, I'm quite sure you're probably seeing this video so um, just put your name down below and then I'll give you another shout out but anyway thanks a lot for watching and um, following and I'll holler at you guys later. I'm getting ready to get this workout in I hope you guys get it in too so guys different ball game though now I have been in the gym for over an hour and actually I was uh, in the sauna, um, you know, sweating out my toxins at the end of my workout. And then I get a phone call and I hear, all I hear is an alarm blaring. And um, the alarm was, one of my buildings is in alarm right now. They're evacuating the, um, the building. Just so happened, I'm actually, damn. I'm just, just so happened, I'm actually around the corner from the building and uh, I gotta get over here to help uh, my team because I got a situation. By the time that I get over here, I'm quite sure the fire department and everybody's already here. Got the engineer on the phone trying to walk uh, the officer that I have over here in the filling uh, to actually doing the cutoff. So now, looks like I'm about to really, really go and uh, do another job. So my workout got interrupted. I did get over an hour's uh, workout. I'm going to lift when I get home. I will not be returning back to the gym um when um i leave here because i really need to take care of this but i am being accountable and i hope you guys are too don't forget to hit that subscribe button yeah i'm gonna say that all the time all the time well guys it has been a very long day i am tired and um so i'm getting ready for bed and um I'm gonna go ahead on and finish off this while you see sparkle girl is over there sleeping gotta get her ready for school tomorrow and I hope you guys have a wonderful and blessed night and I'll see you guys in the next vlog make sure you guys hit that subscribe button talk to you guys later I love you all and don't forget to follow me on all of my social media platforms I'll talk to you guys later bye